In this quick little tech tip video, I'm gonna teach you how to test a MOSFET transistor as well as a bipolar transistor using a digital multimeter. In this case, a Fluke 12. Very simple to test. Check this out. I've been asked by uh, a viewer why I didn't demonstrate how to test a MOSFET in the prior video on the power supply repair. And that's a good question, you know, because they're not that difficult to test, but they are a little different than a bipolar transistor. So I'm going to show you the difference in how you test a MOSFET. A MOSFET's a high impedance device, so you can't just measure it with your meter like you would a conventional uh, transistor, for example, because your readings are going to be showing as open. How we can simply test a MOSFET, I've got the three needs here. The green is connected to the gate, so you got your gate, your drain is the middle uh, terminal, and the source is the, uh, the right terminal on this style of MOSFET. And what I've got here is I've got my positive probe, I know, I'm using, I've reversed them here, let's just, let's just, maybe I should do this the right colors just to help you guys, because, you know, to me colors don't mean anything, but I'll put a red one on for the positive, just to make things simple. Okay, so I've got the the green is my gate, my drain has got positive probe connected to it, and my source has got the negative probe connected to it. And this being a high impedance device, um, I can you just use skin resistance conductivity to test this device. If I put my finger on the green gate and I take my other hand and I touch it to the positive terminal, we'll see that the device should turn on, which it just did, right? And if I do the same, touch my finger onto the green and touch it to the negative, I've now just discharged the gate. It's turned off, right? There it's on and that's off. And that's just using Skin resistance through both arms. That's how sensitive a MOSFET is. And a MOSFET will stay turned on until it's turned off. So now that the, the MOSFET's on, and I mean, I can do it with the same hand. It would probably, uh, with the same hand, it'll be even more pronounced because I can just very lightly touch it. And the skin resistance is much less in the one hand. So I can go off, on. Off, on. Right? Or I can just touch the meter itself. Off, on, off, on. That's how you test a MOSFET with a meter. Real simple to do. So when a MOSFET blows, it shorts. It'll usually short, well, usually they, they can short source to, to gate or, or drain to gate, or they can short every which way. So. We test that and it's shorted, and it's shorted. It's shorted every which way. So when you're testing a MOSFET, if you get conduction like this, it's shot. What you want a MOSFET to do when it's working is to switch on and switch off. Switch on, switch off. That's the simplest way I think I can teach you how to test a MOSFET transistor. Next we'll move over to a bipolar transistor. Now a bipolar transistor is essentially just two diodes. Um, emitter to base and collector to base. Depending on the polarity of the transistor, if it's an NPN, your um, diode junction will be uh, negative on the collector to positive on the base and, and negative on the emitter to positive on the base. So this being an NPN transistor, I will put my basing on this transistor is base, collector, emitter. So I put my positive terminal on the base and I will measure to the collector and to the emitter one at a time. And I will see a voltage drop. There's our voltage drop. Oh, my battery is getting low on this meter. That's probably why my reading was off on when I did the voltage measurement on my power supply I repaired. As you can see, the battery indicator when I'm measuring 
So it's actually measuring a bit low. This should probably be about 0.7 volt drop, but because my battery is getting low on my meter, I'm getting an inaccurate reading. But that doesn't matter because I'm just doing a diode test and I know I've got conduction in one direction. So base two collector, I've got conduction and I've got conduction base two emitter in one direction only. If I remove the and put the negative terminal on the base, it will be open to both base two collector and base two emitter. And also between emitter and collector in both directions, it will be open. If there's any current flowing between emitter to collector in either direction, the transistor is bad. That's how you test a bipolar transistor as opposed to testing a MOSFET. I uh, hope that helps. I just tried to say I want to just make a quick video just to show you guys how to test a MOSFET transistor versus a bipolar transistor. And um, if you've got any more um, tests, any more questions you want about how to test different types of components, send them over to me in the comments and I will take a look at it. And if I can make something quick for you guys, I know you guys like to see something really quick. So this is about as quick and simple as I can show you. Um, happy testing. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.